guys, welcome to this week's episode. Now we're in the Lundy Islands in Devon, which is really popular for what? Seal diving! Yeah, apparently it's one of the best places in the world to seal dive. We're out with Wild Frontiers Charters and we're on the islands just now. We've done our first dive, we're about to go for a second one, but you guys are going to enjoy this. Let's go find some seals. Let's go. <laughs> to do this is because the last time we were in Scotland there was a video called a surprise visitor on a night dive and we actually saw a seal and I really really wanted to see more so we were gonna head over to the foreign islands but when that got cancelled we looked at options and we came across Lundy Islands which has a colony of 260 seals living around the three mile island now luckily we got there really early in the season which meant the seals were super super playful with us and they loved my white fins there's a lot of footage of that coming up lundy actually means puffin island because this is where loads of puffins in the uk live so by calling it lundy island you're actually calling it puffin island island but it doesn't really make too much sense to just call it lundy because it is an island hence the name lundy island puffin island island now you can see this seal here has already started playing with my fins. There were a couple seal pups, like this one that's about to come up, that really liked the camera. So they tried to bite my camera and I'd have to sometimes pull my camera away because I didn't want to scratch the lens or anything. But I think a scratch lens on a camera would be worth it if I said it was a seal bite. Celsius so we were still in dry suits and things but it's quite interesting how you don't get cold when you're so excited like this whole dive even my hands I could feel the whole time compared to when we're diving 9 Celsius in Scotland and we're just looking at crabs and I feel like my hands are going to fall off but obviously this dive I was really really excited about the seals so was Mark and we had really good seal interactions on this first dive. Now the dive was about 45 minutes long before we decided to come up so we could warm up in between dives and go in for a second seal dive. For us, unfortunately, it's both a good and a bad thing that we came on a really, really sunny day. So the seals uh, during our second dive actually were just sunbathing. So we didn't have too many seal interactions the second dive. So pretty much all you're seeing is this first dive, one dive with so many seals. And then the second dive, we were searching around for them and it turned out they were just sitting on the rocks sunbathing because it was so nice and sunny outside. see little bubbles coming off that's one seal blowing bubbles at another seal saying that it kind of is upset with it in its area hence why they both swam away at a pretty quick speed seals swim a lot quicker than you'd imagine for such a chubby animal now we're coming up to our safety stop now and this guy decided he'd just come and say hi on our safety stop after this clip he did actually go to the surface and take a breath so we were probably just in his way but you know still pretty cool to have him on a safety stop and you can see him just flying by by this jellyfish swimming all around us. At this point, we were more interested in the jellyfish than the seal because it was something different. Well, Mark was. I was still interested in the seals. I think I had one biting my fin around here. Yeah, here he comes. So he wanted to come up, see what the camera was all about. And this is actually the clip from just before was the one I took on my camera. And now this is Mark from his perspective. So we've got a couple different perspectives in this video. I was using the Sea Life camera housing and Mark was using his normal GoPro, both of which were pretty green in cold water, but not bad at all for camera quality. 
Coming to the end of the dive now, you'll see that the next clip is all the seals above the water chilling out on the rocks because it's a nice warm day. They're quite like marine iguanas where they like to warm up in the sun and then hop in the water when it's nice and cold to cool off. So you'll see that clip coming up. You'll see a little bit of the island and some of the boat. And then that's just about it for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time. Bye. so lazy, don't they? We just had the coolest dives in the world with seals. It was so awesome. They kept coming and playing with us and like biting our fins and there was a little like puppy one as well. Yeah, they were so cute. There's I think a colony of like what 160 to 200 here. They said there might even be up to 250 now so. But unfortunately, the second dive, they didn't come in and play with us as much. They were all sunbathing, but one that was just chilling on a rock. Day. I don't blame them. No, but definitely, if you guys have ever the chance to come, definitely come and dive here. Also, look at the color of that water. I oh, know, it's pretty. Yeah, it's like we're Bermuda gonna, out here. We're going to go for a little explore on the island just now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed that. But definitely come out and dive on the island for the seals because Holly is smiling. And it's one of our top five I'm dives now. Smiling. What dive number is it now? I think three. Dive number three. I mean, number one's Galapagos, so she's got this is number three. And number two is Bumphead so I think number three. So if she's got number three, think, and all the diving she does, think how good it must be. So Highly recommend. Okay. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.